the first question for any forest owner to answer is, what do I want for my trees? Whether it's commercial, biodiversity, or a combination of both. Your answer will influence your replacement species choice in tandem with your specific site conditions. There is no one tree that can replace your ash. However, aspen, alder, birch, roan, scots pine, and native oak are good native contenders. Sycamore, beech, Douglas fir and Sitka spruce are prominent among the non-native species. All the granted premium categories can be considered, including agroforestry. In terms of the pollen and nectar production, flowering time, fruit type, tree height, birch and roan are the closest match to ash. Many of the generalist animal species that feed on ash can also be found on oak and beech, along with sycamore, birch and hazel. Oak will need some protection in the early years as it's slow growing initially, meaning that vegetation control will be critical. Sessile oak is suited to lighter acidic soils and is naturally found around coastal and upland regions. Alternatively, Douglas fir may also suit such ground. Peduncled oak is more suited to deeper soils and clay soils. Both oaks can tolerate some water logging in winter. For heavier soils, and if you are more focused on a commercial return, Sitka spruce is a very viable replacement species. Remember though, that the replacement of broadleaf high forests with conifers may require planning permission from the relevant local planning authority. Where the area involved is over 10 hectares, you're required to submit an environmental impact statement to the relevant local planning authority. And developments below that threshold may also be required to be screened. Underplanting is essentially replanting following the partial felling of the ash trees. This means that the majority of the diseased trees are removed while retaining the more resistant ash tree species in bands or alternative lines. Reconstitution on the other hand refers to the full replanting of the site following complete tree clearance or clear fell. Site conditions and your choice of tree species will dictate ground preparations prior to replanting. For instance, you may decide to windrow, pit plant or mound the site. In general, broadleaves tend to be pit planted, while conifers are normally planted onto mounds. Consider whether the spot spraying of herbicide would naturally prevent regeneration through coppicing on the ash stumps. The cleaner the site, the easier it will be to replant and to carry out early management activities so as to ensure successful re-establishment. Young trees are vulnerable to a number of threats. The slow growing nature of many broadleaves makes vegetation control a priority in the first few years following replanting. Options include manual control using a billhook or trampling grass, willow herb and briars. Another option may be chemical control by means of spot spraying herbicides such as glyphosate and trichlorophyll. Another serious concern to forest owners is the potential grazing of the tasty broadleaves by both domesticated and wild livestock. Bark stripping and the browsing of young trees can lead to significant damage and even death. There is additional funding on eligible sites for deer tree shelters and deer and hare fencing. Support for repairing or replacing older fencing may also be available. Young Sitka spruce trees replacements can potentially be attacked by pine weevil, feeding on the stem from the root collar upwards. Again, heavy damage can completely girdle the stems and cause plant death. Currently, it's necessary to protect the spruce plants directly through dipping and spraying with cypermetrin. The use of this pesticide is governed by the EU's Sustainable Use of Pesticides Directive. Alternative insecticides are emerging in the marketplace, together with lower impact integrated pest management strategies. New tree diseases and pests in Ireland are being discovered, including sweet chestnut blight and the phytophthora disease, which affects a range of trees, including larch and beech. You will need to be vigilant. Chagas recommends that the re-established trees are checked on a regular basis. Choosing the right replacement tree species can be the first step in future-proofing your forest. <laughs>